Good morning, so today I thought I would film another what I eat in a day video. It has been a while since I filmed one of these, I mean it's been a while in general since I filmed a video. I've had quite a busy couple of weeks, I went and visited some friends in Brighton, I went and visited some friends in Exeter, I went to London a couple of times, so I've had a really fun few weeks but it does mean that I haven't really got the chance to film. I've also had a cold for the past couple of weeks, if you can tell in my voice, I'm not very well, so I haven't really been up to filming but today I just thought I would share with you guys what I'm eating, it's no like particular day this is no special occasion I don't think I have anything exciting planned so this is kind of just a realistic look at what I eat most days it's currently around 8 30 ish I think and I'm gonna make some breakfast please excuse the wet hair and bare face by the way I never bother with my appearance if I'm not planning on leaving the house or going anywhere special so I'm gonna be bare faced for the whole day so for breakfast this morning I'm gonna have some porridge and I always have a cup of like English breakfast tea with it I pretty much have porridge every single day for breakfast, it's like my staple unless I like have a treat and have like granola, I know literally what has my life come to that granola is considered a treat and I look forward to having porridge for breakfast, <laughs> like I feel like I'm already 45 years old. But yeah, I'm gonna have porridge. I usually have porridge pretty much every morning and then I just switch up what fruit I put in it and what toppings I put on it. So yeah, I'm gonna go make that now. Okay, so when I make my porridge I always have half a cup of oats. And then I usually just eyeball some milk, so I'm just using almond milk, like probably about that much. And then I usually get water as well and do roughly the same amount. I really just eyeball everything now when I make my porridge, apart from how many oats, because I feel like putting oats in a pan is the equivalent of doing like cooking pasta and I can never get the right amount. So I feel like that looks roughly about right. And then I'm going to add some blueberries while it's cooking and I will also add some cinnamon and then I will show you what I top it with when it is cooked. And then this is my finished breakfast. So it is now lunchtime and I have essentially ended up with snacks for my lunch, which isn't the best, but that's okay. That is what I've got. I just couldn't think of what I normally have for lunch. I know that sounds crazy, but I'm really struggling with like lunchtime foods at the moment. Maybe leave me down in a comment what you normally have for lunch and give me some ideas because I literally just couldn't think of anything that I fancied that was like a lunchtime food and didn't involve too much effort. So I've got guacamole, which was just a mashed avocado with salt, pepper and lime juice, some tortilla chips. These are the ones from Audi and they are like the salsa flavored ones and they are so good. I've got an apple and an orange and then I've also got an Outpro yogurt. So this is what I've ended up with and I'm eating it in bed. <laughs> so don't judge me. But yeah, I was a little bit stuck for ideas, so if you have any, please let me know in a comment down below. It has now been a few hours since I had lunch, and I've just made myself a cup of tea, and I've got a biscuit, because you can't really have a cup of tea without a biscuit. So I've got a ginger biscuit, this is from Sainsbury's, it's from the free from section, so it's also gluten free, but it also happens to be vegan, and it is so good. These are like my absolute favourites at the moment. They've got like chunks of caramelised ginger in them, which is amazing, they taste so good. My only problem with them is that they are too small and if we had more of them left, I would have definitely had a few, but this is the last one we've got. So just gonna have one of them and my cup of tea. Still looking like an absolute mess, but it's now dinner time and tonight I'm making a coconut vegetable curry. So I'm essentially just using up all the vegetables that we have in the fridge that are kind of going a little bit manky and I'm cooking it with this coconut milk. We buy like coconut cream in these massive cartons, which means I kind of need to use it up. So we're gonna use some of this. I've got some leftover veg, and then I'm just basically gonna bung some spices in and see how it goes. We've also got samosas. These are from Aldi, these are vegan. So I'm gonna cook them with it and then just serve it with some rice. So a pretty simple dinner for tonight, but I actually find these sorts of dinners really satisfying because I hate food waste and I love using up like all of the little like 
bits like this, like vegetables like this in a meal. We've also got like cooked cauliflower from a roast we had the other day. We've got butter beans that we opened in a can and we haven't eaten them all. So I'm basically just gonna literally bung it all in a pot and hope it turns out okay. Those onions just absolutely killed me. <laughs> So this is what the curry is currently looking like. I mean, it kind of looks gross, but it tastes good and that's the main thing. I've then got the brown rice cooking and the samosas are in the oven. It is now the next day and I realised I never ended yesterday's video, so that is everything I ate. That curry was actually surprisingly really good, considering it was made mostly out of leftovers, so I ate a lot of that. I always make like extra portions of food because I'm like, oh, I'll have that for lunch the next day, and then I always eat the extra portions of food, so it meant that I had literally like three servings of that curry, which was a bit much, but then I still managed to have a hot chocolate, so, you know, it was good. I mean, it's mostly vegetables anyway, it's not like it's an unhealthy meal to have three portions of and it tasted good, so I have no regrets. But yeah, that is everything I ate. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you wanna see more of these or leave any video requests in a comment down below and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.